Hi guys, welcome back. Today I thought I would finally share my hospital bag because I've been meaning to film this for about a week now. I'm sitting in little Lumi's room and I will be doing a full room tour of it when it's completely finished, but for now, this is as much as you're seeing. You can kind of guess the colour theme. This I bought in yellow because it was the cheapest option at the time and yes, I'll talk more about the stuff in this room in that uh, video. But today I'm going to share with you what's in my hospital bag. So Lumi's hospital bag I will share tomorrow. I'm gonna film it straight after this one so I'll be in the exact same setup but I'll pop that up as an extra video tomorrow. I think I'm officially all packed. I don't think there's much more that needs to go in. I think I'm actually ready. So let me open this. This is a travel case that I've actually purchased for a holiday it's just sort of a cabin travel bag and it has wheels which is going to be really handy when we've got to carry everything in and carry everything out and it's got a top handle and a front pocket as well which is actually where I'm going to be putting my uh, maternity notes and things I'm just going to pop them straight in the front so Liam can just grab them when he needs them but obviously they're not in there at the moment because I'm only 33 in a bit weeks and I'm seeing my midwife this afternoon so I will pop this on the floor, it's quite heavy, and I'm sitting on the floor. So let me pop it beside me and I'll show you what's inside. So between mine and Lumi's bags, I've kind of split certain things. Some things I've had to go in here because they haven't fit in Lumi's bag and vice versa. So I'm just going to grab and then repack after I finish the video. The very first thing on the top is a dressing gown. Now this was a dressing gown that I already had, it's just a soft pink short dressing gown but I didn't actually take one when I had scouts and I didn't wear one either it was just too hot and I'm feeling like it's going to be the exact same this time especially now I've seen people say that this heat wave is meant to last until October I'm not sure I'm even going to need this I don't know we'll we'll see but um yes I've just got a dressing gown that I already had I didn't go out and buy it I just washed it so it's nice and fresh. I then have two nursing bras. I've got a white sleep nursing bra and then I've got a like a proper bra bra which I've actually been wearing throughout my pregnancy. I did buy some new ones but I figured I would rather take the older ones into the hospital with me that way if they get ruined at all or if they get mucky it's not such a big issue and these ones have all lost a bit of shape already as well so um, it's not really going to be a big issue. I'm probably not even going to wear them that much, to be honest, if we end up staying in hospital. And the sleep one, again, I didn't buy sleep bras with Scout, but this time around I thought I'd try them. I'm actually wearing one right now because they're so comfy. And at the moment, Lumi is so high up that my ribs really hurt. So having the extra bra band around me is just too much so a sleep bra is about as much as I can handle right now. We'll stick with clothes because that's the next thing I can grab. Um, I've just packed a, everything is covered in cat hair. What is my life? My life is covered in cat hair. I hope Lumi is prepared. <laughs> um, but I've packed a really light coming home outfit. Really flowy, really easy. I've got a white vest top, like a tank top similar to the one I'm wearing now and then I've got my black strappy incredibly oversized um, jersey jumpsuit. If you've watched one of our recent weekly vlogs you'll have seen me share these but I just figured this would probably be, be the most comfortable thing to wear because it's not going to cling to my stomach, anything that might be a bit swollen and sore I'm going to be really comfy in this. I think I wore a dress when we left the hospital with Scout but yes, I'm just gonna wear that over the top of the tank top and then it's easy sort of access for pulling them to the side if I need to feed Lumi. And then one of the things that I couldn't fit in Lumi's bag because I've rammed that thing full, you'll see in tomorrow's video, is her nappies. So we've just got one pack of the Aldi newborn nappies. We swore by the Aldi nappies when Scout was a baby they were the best ones for us. So we've kind of gone down that route. We haven't gone nuts with them this time. Last time Liam's mum bought nappies and we had a huge stockpile of nappies. And we haven't really done that this time, but we've got a fair few to get us through. And then we're gonna try and do cloth as well once she's a little bit bigger. But for the first sort of couple of months, we'll probably be doing disposables just for first poos and all of that kind of fun stuff. So one bag 
of newborn nappies. I'm hoping this is all we need. I'm hoping I don't need to send Liam home to get more because we've been in hospital for so long. I then have maternity pads. I've just got a pack of 10 from Sainsbury's. Again, I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. I honestly don't remember what I packed for Scout. I don't even know whether I did a video. Maybe I did a video. Maybe I need to go back and have a look. But I've just got one pack. Do you guys think I need to take any more? I'm not planning on being in hospital long, but I don't know. 10, that should be plenty, right? <laughs> Next up I have a wash bag and I couldn't fit these in. So I have some lanolin um, lanceno nipple cream. I never used this with Scout and I really wanted to try it this time around because I didn't have the best relationship with breastfeeding with Scout even though I persevered. So I'm gonna give this a go. And alongside those I've packed some nipple shields as well just in case. Again, I never used them with Scout but I wanted to be a bit more prepared this time around. So I have packed them just in case. They're not gonna be something I grab for straight away. That They are literally a, if she doesn't latch and we're having a lot of trouble, they're there if I need to try them kind of thing. And then I picked up these and these are the Tux medicated cooling pads. I bought these because Louise Pentland actually suggested them, recommended them when she was doing her what to pack for postpartum or what to use postpartum um for healing and stuff and again with scout i never looked into anything like this with witch hazel or you know anything to do with like cooling your downstairs region but i definitely want to try it this time around if i need to at this point we don't know what kind of route we're going with with the birth she is sideways so i may end up with a c-section we don't know but louise suggested putting these onto your um sanitary towels and then obviously wearing them and apparently they're really really soothing and cooling on that area so I've got them if I need them if you know who knows but I just thought I would pack them and then in this bad boy I've got pretty much anything and everything that I thought I would need because this time round I want to be over prepared then I rather than under prepared because with Scout's birth we didn't think anything was going to go wrong and we ended up being in hospital five days in total and the amount of times Liam had to go home and pick things up or we forgot things or we run out of something was just ridiculous so I'd rather be over prepared take a little bit more than I need maybe not even use any of it but yeah, I've just packed a lot. So I've got a new toothbrush for both Liam and I. A little dry shampoo in case we're not going to be in there for long, but I just feel a little bit grubby and want to freshen up. What do I have? A little toothpaste. I have a three minute miracle moisture um, deep treatment for hair conditioner. I have some Dove body wash and some Charles Worthington shampoo. I just went to the minis section in Boots and grabbed what I could. To be honest, there was not much thought behind this. It was just pick up a shampoo, a conditioner, a body wash, just in case. So I did pick up the violet shampoo because of my hair. It doesn't really matter whether it is or not, but those are the things that I've got just in case I do take a shower I had I was only, I only had one shower as disgusting as that sounds but I wasn't allowed to leave the bed for about two and a half days whilst I was in with Scout so I gave birth on the Saturday night and then I didn't really leave my bed until late Tuesday early Wednesday so by that point I only had one shower and then we were going home like the next day something like that I can't remember seems like forever ago i also got some simple face wipes because i didn't want to bother with like cleanser and toner and all of that malarkey so those will do just for the time and i got a mouthwash as well i also picked up a new deodorant this is an unscented deodorant and it's a roll-on i didn't want to get a spray because some people don't like it when people spray deodorant around other people and I thought if we were on a ward at all be it before or after I have the baby I didn't want to be spraying around other people or other babies and again unscented because I'm going to try and breastfeed and I didn't want anything to really interfere with that situation. I also have a tangle teaser, a hair clip, 
and some breast pads. I don't think I'm going to end up using these because when I had scalp, my milk didn't actually come in until day... I want to say day five. We were at home by the time my milk actually came in properly. Um, I think the trauma of his birth and everything else kind of slowed everything down and we had a tricky, tricky beginning with breastfeeding. It wasn't until we actually got home that I had that like insane, engorged, oh my God, my milk has come in feeling. I know a lot of people say it happens around day three, but that just didn't happen for me. And then it happened when I got home and I was like, whoa, what's going on? So I don't think, I'm hoping maybe I don't need to use those, but we'll see. And then I have a pair of flip flops just so I can walk around the hospital, have a shower. I can wear these in the shower um, and they'll dry off pretty quickly. I, I'm not taking slippers. I'm not a massive slipper fan. If my feet get too hot, my whole body gets too hot. And in this heat wave, I've not really been enjoying any kind of thing on my feet. I've been practically living barefoot. So I figured flip flops are the better way to go in that situation. I've then got two pyjama tops. They're just strappy, normal pyjama tops. Practically all I wore with Scout as well. I didn't go down the nighty route or the maternity pyjama route. I just got strappy tops I can just pull to the side or pull down and breastfeed or, you know, skin to skin or anything like that. And then with those, I got a rather large pair of pyjama bottoms. I just got a cool baggy pair of bottoms two sizes bigger than I usually wear and I got those because I remember the jiggly belly feeling after giving birth and not feeling very comfortable so I didn't want again I didn't want a tight waistband at all if I have to stay in hospital or if I have to put my pajamas on and um, stay in for a little while so I thought I would rather be comfortable wearing clothes too big for me than being squeezed into something that I'm uncomfortable in and I would definitely be uncomfortable in a like a night dress um, it's just not my kind of thing. And then the last couple of things, I bought a brand new pack of briefs. I just got a five pack of black full briefs. Again, glamorous, lovely, exciting. Everyone needs them, I guess. And a towel. I am taking a towel just in case I do end up staying and needing, wanting a shower, a bath, whatever. Where we had Scout, they did have baths in the shower rooms you could have an optional bath if you wanted to I never did but that was an option so I'm gonna take a towel and this <laughs> believe it or not is the exact same towel that I took in with Scout Um, I just took in a great big black bath sheet so this towel has had some love but it will hide a multitude of sins and if needs be it can be thrown away afterwards so that is everything I don't think there's much else to go into my bag. We are going to take a, I don't know if I'll be able to fit it in this one. We might take a backpack for Liam with uh, a change of clothes for him. And we're also going to be packing some snacks, which I haven't bought yet because we've still got a little way to go. Some snacks and some Capri Suns or something like that for drinks. I've got to pack a lip balm in my toiletry bag and we might pack some pre-made formula bottles as well because when I was rushed away to theatre after giving birth to Scout four years ago I wasn't around to give him his first feed and they gave him a bottle in hospital which is fine I was totally okay with that and then tried to breastfeed afterwards and stuck with that but I just want to be prepared again and have the option of if he needs he <laughs> so used to scout if she needs to be fed formula it's there so we might pack some we might end up going without it i don't know but i do want to try and breastfeed but i'm not averse to formula feeding either so the option will be there so if there's anything else that you guys think i have missed bear in mind i haven't shown you what's inside lumi's bag yet i think most of the stuff in lumi's bag is for her please let me know in the comments below i hope you enjoyed this video i do feel like i've overpacked but like I said, I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared because we were so under prepared with Scout's birth, labour, stay in hospital, week of hell. I hated every second of it. Hopefully, fingers crossed this time, we're a bit more, a bit more um, ready for the joys of 
this event. <laughs> so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new to this channel and I will see you guys tomorrow with another hospital bag video and we'll be going through Lumi's bag which is jam-packed but I honestly don't think there's much in there. <laughs>